Do you think about dessert each and every day? I could. But so no one here does. <laughs> no one? Come on. People. I do. I do. Maybe you can't finish a meal without something sweet. Do you hide your favorite candy or cookies mm. so your family can't eat them first? Yeah. Thank you. If so, you might be a sugar addict in need of a detox like our producer, Justin. Not convinced? Wait until you hear the ways too much sugar could be wrecking your body and brain and aging you to boot. First Ooh. up, how much added sugar should we all be eating? According to the American Heart Association, no, it's not. Look, you don't have to give it up completely. Yeah. <laughs> too much sugar is bad. Sugar inherently is okay, just too much is bad. The maximum amount of added sugars though you should eat in a day are nine teaspoons for men, right? And six teaspoons for women. Boom. Right, right, right. Boom. But get this, the average American consumes 17 teaspoons. Whoa. Every day, that's adding all the sugar a man Ooh. should eat, plus all the sugar a woman should eat, plus two more teaspoons for good measure. 57 pounds of added sugar consumed each year per person. Can we all agree that's too much sugar? Yes. yes. And that's not good for us? Yes. Preach, Dr. Travis, preach. You know what too much sugar does to the body? Ooh. A lot of things. Obviously, we know it can increase belly fat, Ooh. so you add on weight. It also increases your risk of heart disease. It increases your risk of type 2 diabetes, cancer, kidney disease, fatty liver. You have lower energy. It can raise your blood pressure. I talked about inflammation. That weakens your immune system. The list goes on and on. And it's the cascade effect. Justin, any of that ring true to you? All, all of those things scare me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, heart that. disease was in my family. Energy was a big issue. You know, inflammation with all back pain, all that stuff. All of this was stuff when I was playing ahead. I was like, I'm scared of all this, so I'm on board. And you know what? I'm going to get in here and also talk about the mental health effects. It can increase your risk of depression, anxiety, ruin your sleep, and your sex drive. I mean, exactly. If that last one didn't get you guys. Put that smile on his face. I think he, I think he uh, picked Chrissy's up his down. game there. It's a problem, too. guys. It's a problem. <laughs> Guess what else sugar does? It makes you ugly. <gasps> That's right. Because it's so inflammatory, it has a negative effect on your skin. I mean, it's been shown too much sugar gives you that pasty look to mm -hmm. your face. You're, you're more prone to age quicker if the body is working overtime to process all that sugar. Breaks wow. down collagen, elastin, all those things that we need to stay nice and tight and youthful. Sugar is not good for that. Chris, I want to ask you, what is your favorite change in Justin over the past few months since he broke up with sugar? I mean, I'm so happy for him for the physical benefits. Nobody likes to see somebody they love suffering and feeling sick all the time. But the mental clarity and the, uh, the being genuinely happy to get up at the beginning of the day and not so tired in the evening and being able to play with the kids and, and hang out with me, uh, the mental side has been the best side of all.